We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we are getting things, apparently. A lot of things. So many things. Yep, all the things. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Um, right, uh, D Disciples Liberation. We're continuing with Disciples Liberation. And apparently we were just gifted a billion zillion things because Calypso Media is awesome and they love me and they want me to have cool stuff. So, a big shout out and a thank you to them. It looks like I got five free skill points. Uh, some epic weapons it appears to be pretty good. Whole bunch of cash monies and other stuff. So, here's... <sighs> So here, here's here's the rub. It uh, usually all right. Usually stuff like this, like a, like a collector's edition, digital um, deluxe or whatever it is, all right? You get these uh, extra fancy things, and they're usually really really strong. Help you get through the early game, being quite OP, and then later on they kind of fade out, and then the game kind of normalizes, and you're fine. However, I I kind of want that grinding from the bottom experience. So while I'm probably going to play around on my own quite a bit on this, in fact, I'm going to be doing a live stream of this on the day, you guys already know, for the giveaway and all that stuff at the day of launch, I, I'm i probably going to forego using this stuff now, but for that stream, I'll have all the stuff equipped and everything else. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna try to go from the, the bottom, the dredges. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the skill tree. I, I'm, maybe just whenever we get skill points, I'll leave the five there. For now, it, I don't. I don't know. That, that's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. We'll see. Like I said, I don't want to have any like super extra advantages moving forward. I want to be able to grind it from the bottom and go. And then maybe at some point we'll be like, all right, we got through the easy stuff, or sorry, we got through the harder stuff. We're now, you know, we're, things are kind of easy. I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to be able to scale up to the point where we're strong. At that point, maybe we'll use some of this stuff. But for now, I'm not going to. Do we get any extra spells or anything too? No, we did not. Okay, cool. Who knows, folks? Who knows? Anyway, let's get on to where we're going. I believe it's up this way. And I'm going to use the, the Healy... The Healy Dealy. Healy Dealy. Oh, we do have a quick save button. Cool. And this is uh, the guy we're supposed to go and take down. Good old Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian, the old priest serving the Church of St. Dartile, looks up from his work to you. He's sorting through children's clothing, all of it clean and well-made, and marked to be sent to orphanages across the city. He's hardly the monster your contract made him out to be, until he snarls at you, that is. The rat who's been crawling our sewers reveals herself. Also, Ori's here. I'm here to kill you. I'm just a simple sewer cleaner. There's a price on your head. Let your guards go, and I'll spare them. There's a price on your head. Someone wants you dead, and whoever it is, they're willing to pay. A lot. Cool. The priest gestures to the shadows. His guards emerge. You are surrounded. Of course. And you're here to warn me. Nope. Oh. No. To look you in the eye before I fulfill my contract, know that if it isn't me, it will be another. I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty bold and sort of disturbing. Like, you don't have a personal connection to this guy. Why do you want to look him in the eye before you kill him? Let's hope you fight as honorably. I mean, I guess there's an honor thing to it, but, eh, surrounded, trapped. Whether there was a time to draw one sword, it's now. Mortal Kombat! This is not going to go well. Here we go. We're going to conquer him. No. All right. Let's get into it. We are probably going to get absolutely massacred. Battle strategy. The backline system. Uh, shout out to all my disciples one and two people who loved the backline frontline combat system. Super simplistic. Very straightforward down the line. Uh, I personally, and I know this will upset some people, but it's, it's fine. Uh, I personally was glad they went away with that. It was too simplistic. 
I needed a little bit more tacticalness in my, my strategy. So I was happy that 3 had a different system, and I know that upset a lot of folks. But now the backline system's back in a different way, so it's kind of neat. Anyway, every unit in your active squad can be placed in the backline or frontline. Frontline units use their frontline abilities and can be controlled during their turn. However, they can be targeted and defeated. Backline units use their backline ability. They act automatically each turn and cannot be targeted or defeated directly. If all of your frontline units are defeated, the fight is lost. Carefully choose backline or choosing backline frontline units for your squad is an essential part of any battle strategy. But if you don't have a lot of frontline dudes, probably not gonna want to do the thing with the stuff in the junk. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stealth ourselves up with a Ryan's cloak. And then I was gonna move there, but I think it's gonna move here. Me? Now you see me. Now you still see me. Let's move. All right, just gonna move there and go and end my turn. Father, they're gonna all buff blade. themselves up and be super Today amazing. Is a good and day we're gonna be for sad. a fight. To die is a good Pressing die for a boy. You die today. Walk in his light. Very possibly, yeah. It's very possible that we die today. We will be victorious. We will be victorious. All right, it is time to stabity stabity poke poke this guy. Feel my blade fight. Aha, that was not a lot of damage. You mess with Avi, you mess with me. That uh, still not not much in the way of damage. We're going to step up and we're going to go full all out crazy with my super attack. Spinny winny attack. We demoralized him Make a bit. Your stand here. Your life ends here. I feel like she's in a real bad spot. Wear them down. Oh no, we've been shield bashed. I call on his holy fury. You're gonna hit me twice, aren't you? You die today. Yeah, Abby's not feeling super good right no now. Surrender. She's kind of getting her face stomped into the ground. It's not great. Feel my blade fight. But with the power of a friendship, she'll defeat one of them. This. She going down. I call on his holy fury. She did. Uri, uh, something's wrong. Yeah, you just got killed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're losing. That that too. Your vision blurs. A pain shoots through your right arm to your fingertips. So severe it feels like your skin might burst apart. And then it does. Oh. Uh, help me. Well, this seems bad. From your flesh, darkness emerges like a swirling black pearl. In it, you see pure night. And the night sees you. A corona of molten light crackles forth from the pitch. Impossible. Stand back, fools. All of you, back. It's a portal. Go, now. Uh... Yeah, sure. You and Orion leap through the sweltering heat into the void and are immediately swallowed whole. Behind you, the portal closes, leaving no trace other than the black scars on the stone floor and fear in the hearts of all. Well, that's... From the cosmic tear, yeah. you are hurtled bewilderingly forward. Never before had mortal feet touched this soil nor mortal eyes seen this ancient sight. Interesting. Sprawling, ancient, longing to be rediscovered. Until now, this is your true home. Cool. Do we... This is your fate. Sweet, do we get a welcome home party? Like, like what's going on here? The Unholy Legion are led by... Oh. Orion follows you as you approach the forgot... Oh, we're getting more stuff. 3,000 gold, 1,000 iron, 1,000 wood. Uh, as you approach the forgotten city, at its gates, a word is carved in foreign glyphs. It reads, Ilion. Ilion? Sure. Which you know to mean City of Sacred Angels, though you've never been able to read such markings before. Abandoned and ancient. Uh, could be dwarven. Possibly. I believe it's even older. Well, it's ours now. Uh, Mother told me about places like this. Well, we'll say it's... Older. Look at the stone. 
It wasn't cut. It's like it was formed from the bedrock. Huh. And these glyphs match the glyphs on my armor. You're worried about your belt, Avi? You just ripped a hole in space. We're lost in some forgotten city. I'm sorry. I just haven't seen you do that since we were kids. It scared me. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure you are justified in it scaring you. I know. I couldn't control it then, but this time was different. Ori, I can't shake the feeling. It was fate. Dun dun dun! The word lingers as it carry forward. Fate. Let's look around, but be on your guard. Just because this place looks abandoned doesn't mean it is. That's fair. Your mind races as you explore the landscape. Amongst the rubble, you see ghosts of marketplaces, forges, homes, and families. How incredible it must have been once. Talk to Ryan inside Yilian's castle. Welcome to the legendary city of Yilian, your home. You'll be able to make it your own and upgrade it during your journey across Nevendar. Right now you have access to the castle and a building of each of the four factions. In the factions building, you can recruit units for your army. Once this is done, go to the castle and speak to Orion to start your journey. Okay, we got some spell blueprints. Sure. During your journey, you will acquire blueprints. Each acquired blueprint allows you to construct a specific building in Ilion. Each building's construction will require specific resources and gold. Upgrading Ilion is essential as every building will grant powerful benefits. The key benefit is that new buildings allow you to recruit new units for your army. Ch sure. Yep. All right, so we basically, I'm going to say that we have 14,875 monies. So we need to come up with some units that can use that. I'm just going to take a quick gander. We have a shadow caster. So he's got some healing and some ranged attacks. We have a temple, which has a soldier. Must be an empire unit. We have a graveyard, which has some zombies. Okay. And we have the Heart of the Abyss, which is going to be the Legions of the Damned. We have a Possessed. Each of them costs 10 leadership. Alright, so we need to build an army. My guess is it might make sense to maybe get... Well, I mean, we can look deeper into it. I would like to try to get some backline units. I think I might even focus getting backline first. So the backline ability right now that we get from this unit is Shadow Armor. Grants unholy protection, 15% unholy resistance, and evasion to allies until the end of battle, 10% chance to dodge any attack. So I am definitely going to grab one of those. In fact, I'm going to grab two of those. A building in Ilion has just produced a unit. Find this unit in the squad management screen to have it join you in battle. You must add it to your active squad. Conversely, you can keep the unit in reserve to use as a garrison. Interesting. To level up the unit, you can train it in the building that produced it. It can train up to Aviana's current level. Training costs gold, though, so build and train your units wisely. I'm going to recruit two of these. The reason being, I'm going to have at least one of them on the front line, uh, for sure. And then we'll see what else we do. All right, recruit units. Take a look at this one. It's your backline ability. Grants protected and resilience to an ally with the lowest HP. Cover won't affect a target who already has it. Eh. I, I think I still want him for frontline stuff. So what are we at monetarily? We're at 13. So okay, we're fine. Okay, let's go check out the graveyard unit. And I'm sure it probably makes more sense to have a, like, cohesive army. But I'm going to just pull stuff from whatever I feel like pulling. So, it may be a bad plan. I don't know. Oh, isn't he adorable? He's not. He's not. Rotting Stench. Strikes the target with the lowest percentage of HP, dealing unholy damage, and inflicts poisoned on the target. Affected units deal 15% less damage is unholy, and poisoned is just damage over time. So, oh, okay. And he also has a claw attack and covers enemies in acidic bile, dealing same thing. So kind of, 
kind of the same as backline ability, except it has to be on people that are below 50% if you want to get the poison on them. I'll recruit them for backline right now. Alright, I'm going to go to the Heart of the Abyss. See what the Possessed has. Backline grants physical might to allies until the end of battle, which is plus 25% physical damage. Definitely going to get you as a backline individual. It's up to three targets dealing physical damage. Ooh, that's kind of impressive. Just send them in and... Okay. Maybe it's a her in? It's kind of hard to tell. It, yeah. Who knows? I think I'll recruit two of these. I think that might be enough. And we still have a little bit of money left over. So we're not completely uh, in trouble here yet. Go to the character screen. Units. Put one shadow caster back here. Put the zombie back there. And we're going to put one of the possessed in the back. Move Aviana and Ori to the front. And I suppose you? That's all we can do right now. So it looks like we have some extra units, but that's okay. And then we gotta go to the castle to talk to companions. The castle is the place to perform a variety of actions. Talk with your companions, research new spells for Aviana. Or Aviana. Uh, reassign your skills, gather resources from captured buildings in the world, come back regularly, okay? And then train your companions to increase their level. Discuss the next step of your adventure. Speak with Orion. Let's research some spells first. All right, so we got Waning Bolt. Maybe 500 to research it. I'm not sure why we got this. This might be a, an added bonus. If it is, I apologize. I am not really sure. Uh, Word of Divine Power inspires a target, strengthening their divine damage, grants divine might, and motivated to the target. What is motivated? Does not say. Okay, and then what's this last one? A holy spell, summon a lesser devil. Alright, conjure a lesser devil out of target location. Sure. And that's pretty much all of our money, so we only have 375 left. Again, I'm trying not to use all the super amazing things that they gave us. It might it might be, you know, a mistake. It's, it's fine. Uh, looks like we have nothing to gather because we control none of the resource buildings. Fine. Meet the companions, and it's Orion. Weeks pass. You train tirelessly in the courtyards and under the pavilions, slowly honing your power. By night, you spend your restless hours exploring the castle grounds. One night, tonight, Orion follows you to the giant structure spiraling up from the rubble of this forgotten land. Inside, you discover a great hall enshrining a stone table. Upon it, a familiar sight. Look! Oh, surprised it's not voice acted. Look, a map of Nevendar, but if it's accurate, this city is at the center of the world. How has no one found this place? You look down at the sprawling map of Nevendar, dreaming of what this old castle might have been, or what it could be. Hey, Avi. Uh, back when we first got here, you said something that's been playing in my head every night. At the city gates, you said it was fate. What's our fate? To build a new home. To build an army. To liberate the world. I sound crazy, I know. Sure. I know it sounds crazy, Ori, but when that power was pulsing through me, it was like I could see this place, like it was drawing us here. Well, it would be nice to find a place that actually wants us for once. Ah, uh, we've been scraping by, going from one low-paying contract to the next. Now we're trapped here. We're almost out of food and water. Right, but you've been honing your power. Any day you'll be able to control it, and we'll get out of here. Or we stay. This could be the home that we've always wanted. It needs a little work, but imagine it. Ryan looks around you, inspecting the hall. Yes, he seems to say to himself, as he places his hands on his hips. This will do nicely. Fine. Fine? Yes, fine. But the Empire is going to be looking for us, and they always find what they're looking for, even here. Then we hire protection. 
which means we're going to need allies. And money. And ale. Lots of ale. Hey, I was already sold. Where do we start? You point his attention to the map. With cunning, any of the denizens of Nevendar would make a strong ally. Where do you start? What about the Unholy Legion? What do you think of the Hordes? The Empire would never expect us to make allies with the undead. What do you think? Uh, Abby, Queen of Skulls, it suits you. I, I've been called worse. All undead worship their goddess Mortis above any other. But if there were a way to get them on our side, they'd make an intimidating ally. This map is correct. Greyleaf's remote enough that we could go there unseen. They say Mortis's necromancers once called the wood their home. Well, who do we trust in the Empire? We're the enemies of the Empire by now, which means enemies of the Empire are, well, suddenly our friends. You think of what I'm thinking. The Castle Hail. A layer of the Mercenary King. The gates are open to all. If anyone wants to join our band, that's where they'd be. What about the Unholy Legion? The Empire wants us dead. That's understandable. So we could go to their enemies, the Legion of the Damned. I've never seen a demon in person before. Probably how they want it. They only accept outsiders in Hurik. If we want allies, that's where we should start. Ugh. Can't believe we're doing this. Where do we uh f where, where do we find the El Elven clans? We're displaced, on the run. The clans could sympathize, but where do we find them? Where it is the elves were spotted in the Whitelands? Old Dwarven territory. Those mountains are treacherous. No more so than elves, but something tells me you think it's worth the risk. All right, I've made my decision. I haven't. I'll keep training my power. When it's ready, it will head for. But I guess I'm going to have to choose now. Aviana and Orion start as a neutral faction, but as you progress through your adventure, certain choices improve or worsen your standing with the Nevendar factions. The better your standing, the more benefits you reap. Your standing affects the units you can recruit, the equipment you can use, and the rewards you earn. It also impacts how denizens of Nevendar will react to you and how your adventure will end. Choose wisely. This is the Legions of the Damned. This is once the seat of the Empire, the Plains of Widows. The Castle Hale is now an outpost, uh, home to rebels, thieves, and warriors for hire. The White Lands is where I believe the dwarves are. Or sorry, the elves are. This is former dwarven lands. The elves are. And then over here we have Greyleaf, the Forest of the Lost, were once home to Nevendar's necromancers. Though the roads through the woods are now essential highways. Leading to Vernato or few survivor or survive the journey. Well, I'm thinking we maybe we go with the undead. I think, like, I me personally, I'm drawn to either the plains of widows or the white lands. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna do the white lands on the live stream. We'll just play around probably for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Um, I think I'm gonna do that on stream. So, like, I want to do this, but it's easy, and I don't necessarily want to take the easy route. So let's go undead. I, and the last time I did a live stream, I did the uh, the Legions of the Dam. So undead it is, I guess. Right click. All right. And honestly, we could probably move around to different ones. So this is Greyleaf. It has a certain charm, I guess. You look to the bubbling swamps and inhale the rancid stink of death, oppressively blanketing the forest. Charm, indeed. It's also quiet. Anyone stupid enough to walk these roads usually winds up dead or undead in minutes. Fair. Challenge accepted. Good. When we get out of here, it'll be a tale we can tell at the pub. I think you mean if. Ultimately, the Vale want us dead. The second Woken want the Vale dead. We're a perfect match. Sure. We just need to find their leader, whoever it is, and get them to listen. And not eat us. That too. And that. Okay, to return to Yillian, Aviana must cast a portal. Press the portal button in the lower left corner. I 
there, do so. Note that portals can only be cast outside. They do not work in dungeons or in combat. Is that T? It is T. Oops. I didn't actually mean to go back. My bad. All right, so here we are. Welcome to the, well, it's not really the jungle, but welcome to whatever this is. Do we have, oh, we got a, we got an actual skill point. You've earned a skill point. Each time you gain a level, you gain a skill point that you can invest in combat, Nephilim, or magic skill tree. After investing a certain amount of points in a skill tree, you unlock the passive effects shown in the area of the skill tree. You can also gain access to the next tier. Mm. The power and all resistances are increased by 5% for units who are standing beside at least one one other friendly unit on the battlefield. You know what? Let's let's get this. We're just going to do that for now. I very, very much want to use the extra points. It's calling to me. All right. Oh, good. Our, okay, good. Our thing went up. I, was, I wasn't sure if it was going to. I wasn't sure if we are going to be able to like utilize our, our peeps or not, but... Yep. So we got one backliner. We got three front, sorry, four frontliners. We got about, we could have a half a person if we wanted. All right. I think that's, that's about it. So uh, now that we're not inside of a cave or any kind of building, we actually have control of the map. We can move with W, A, S, and D. I like it. Very reminiscent of, you know, all the other disciples games, as it were. There's clearly somebody right there. And I suppose we're going to head out and probably end up talking with them. Lady Darkoil of Atelian. Atelian. You follow the faint sounds of singing as a moth follows the light of the moons. It leads you to a strange traveler hidden amongst the trees. You there! Oh. Oh, those eyes are horrifying. The stranger hushes her song and turns with a start. Oh. Oh, you're living. How rare. What are you doing in Greyleaf? I'd ask you the same thing. We seek an alliance, none of your business. You're singing in the middle of a swamp alone. I think between the two of us, you're the one with the story to tell. That, that is fair. Is anyone really alone when Mortis may be nearby? Mm. No matter. I'm Lady Darkoil, leader of the Darkoil Brigade in Varentor. The pleasure's mine. Sure. As you're clearly new to these forests, I could help you get your bearings. Oh yeah? And how would you do that exactly? Uh, what can you tell me about Greyleaf? Most of what I know of the forests of the Lost are legends. What can you tell me about this place? Thousands of years ago, Mortis rose from the dead body of Soloniel, goddess oh, yeah. of the life stream. The newly born goddess of death became queen of the necromancers of Greyleaf and built her army of undead hordes here. But then, everyone knows that. Sure, sure. Uh, where are all the undead? So, where is everyone? I just assumed I'd be some slobbering monster's feast by now. As did I. The goddess and her hordes are here, but something's changed in them. Better to thank a blessing than question it, I'd say. Okay. Why are you here exactly? Okay, who leads the undead here? If I'm going to get the undead on my side, I'll need to find their leader. They have a council, right? Bold, aren't you? Yes. I don't know if the Council of Six are in Greyleaf, but there's strange activity to the north, which is why I stick to the southern roads. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? You mentioned you're part of a brigade in Veranta Or. That's a long way from here. After being threatened with being marked pure as punishment for losing our last battle, what? I fled. Wars are hardly the honorable pastimes they used to be. You you were marked pure? Is, is is that a is that is that a negative thing? Is that bad? Okay. Fine to meet you, lady. Walk in the High Father's holy light, traveler. Pray often, and sleep little. Uh, why sleep little? Good advice in these parts. That that's fair. Uh, can I steal your? No. Okay. I'll just steal the thing behind you. All right, so we got a health fountain. Uh, there's clearly some tracks that are over here. Ooh, there's a bone golem that we can talk to. I am ex I, I need to go talk to him immediately. Hello, my friend. 
Despite its massive size and sharp fangs, sharp claws, sharp most things, the bone golem cowers and crawls away from you. Oh. Easy there. We don't want to hurt you, uh, unless we have to. Something's wrong with it. Maybe we should put it out of its misery. Let me try talking to it. It isn't injured. It's afraid. Do you understand me? Understand. Good. Good. Uh, do, do you have a name? Am Golem. Am not name. Oh, now, everyone needs a name. I'll call you... Big guy, Boney, Aviana Jr. <laughs> I'm going to go with big guy. Hmm, how do you feel about big guy? I think it suits. Big guy am hunger. Then let's feed you. See, you're not scared. You're just hungry. What does a bone golem eat? I'm going to guess bones. Bones. Yep. Smart bones make big guy smart. Strong bones make big guy strong. Bones. Right. I, I could have guessed that. I did. I did actually guess that. Uh, well, I have nothing to feed you right now, but I will be back soon. I don't have anything you can eat, but don't worry. I'll find something. Big guy, not am worried. Hunger. I'll be back soon. I'm not sure if something undead can starve to death, but just the same. Hang in there. That's cool. How oh, we have to find some bones for, for our, our big guy. Nice. Well, this is cool. Oh, I want to play more. My episode's done. No, I don't want to stop. All right, fine. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Until the next one. Dang it. I really want to play more. Until the very next one, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>